uh, welcome sir. and uh, thank Hi. you so much for joining this live session uh, Hi, it's an honor man. how are you <laughs> i i'm doing great sir thank you so much how are you very very fine and uh, i hope you all are enjoying uh, staying at home and doing lot of creative work as well right so uh, people are uh, trying to be very creative and since these live sessions are all around uh, like 12 hours a day people are learning as well of course <laughs> of course of course of course parting parting knowledge is very important for all photographers all and all cities uh, globally uh, right, right. and then you know you you need to learn many things when you are talking to each other so Definitely. good that you know because of this lockdown we all are together on uh, at least on social medias otherwise sometimes okay. photographers are very arrogant they don't meet each other at all and uh, <laughs> that is bad part of artist but then it happens uh but sir uh, uh, on that note actually uh, main maine to bahut late shuru kiya photography bhi sirf 2.5 saal ke aas paas hua aur main jitne logo se mil paya hu abhi tak uh, fortunately they those are the hum, most humble people i have actually met in this field uh, bahut acche logo se baat hui hai aur jis tarike se wo log milte hain baat karte hain aapse bhi jaise main holi mein mila tha to mujhe laga hi nahi ki main first time aapse mil raha hu the way you have treated me हम लोग शॉर्ट फोटो लिए आपने बात करी इट वाज वेरी वेरी पोलाइट और बहुत अच्छा लगा था मिलके सो यस मुझे तो ऑफ कोर्स थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर काइंड वर्ड्स मजा आता है हमेशा फोटोग्राफर से मिलने का उनके साथ इंटरेक्ट करने का और हम लोगों की फैमिली ने बरसों यही काम किया है सो जो लोग लेट ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं या जो लोग अभी इतना जानते नहीं है Uh, they are new to photography. बताना चाहूंगा फोटोग्राफी इन आर फैमिली स्टार्टेड बैक इन आप ये सोच सकते हैं कि 51 से ये घराना फोटोग्राफी करता आ रहा है right, right. Right, right. Uh, sir, on that note only, the uh, since uh, I wanted to ask this thing uh, with you uh, for to to you actually, ki uh, jo uh, uh, you there are many people who have uh, started photography as a hobby. There are many people who have studied photography and something like that. You belongs to a family who who actually comes from this background, and they have kind of blood. फोटोग्राफी ब्लड में है तो हाउ डज दैट फील एंड वॉज दैट अ चैलेंज टू यू कि आप को अपने जो अपने खुद की मतलब फैमिली में आपको एक ऑलरेडी एक स्टैब्लिश मार्क था तो आपको उनसे आगे जाना था या कॉम्पिटिशन क्या था हाउ डज यू ट्रीट योर सेल्फ देन इट्स इट्स वेरी 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 इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेरी यू नो इट वॉज इजी टू बी अ फोटोग्राफर when everyone is photographer in the family they will not say no to you otherwise exactly. you know if somebody says in the family that i want to be a graphic designer or a photographer or an animator so for father will say no 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 you be go to engineering college or you do uh, you know you do uh, you become a doctor or a pilot okay. but then in yeah. our our situation it was like very easy to penetrate into this market but then it was very difficult because of course the landmarks were already made and uh, especially my mentor res paul who initiated photography in our family so he was already a legendary photographer and uh, very very uh, he was known as a father of photojournalism in india so right, he right. he started capturing moment in news photography otherwise you know the uh, all photographers that era were shooting just the handshake images when they go to pm house or when they go to parliament so he break that rule used lot of lenses like fish eyes in in express uh, front page you will get a picture of a fish eye lens so so people think okay. that fish eye is a gimmick lens even now okay but you know but he used that in in black and white era as well so you know that okay. challenge was always there and that was good for us so we need to make our own career our own path our own style but then uh, maybe we are inspired from our uh, ancestors a, a lot so uh, we want to do different but many times uh, some inspirations come from them which is good which is uh, i think right. it's uh, good for us yeah uh, definitely sir so so uh, how many photographers do you have in your family basically <laughs> just to make sure ki we are talk like uh, 
there was one article in in art book where uh, very very famous curator and uh, author alka pande mentioned like three right. generations of indian photography where he, she mentioned s paul and dheeraj paul's picture and my son's picture also raghav paul right. who was okay. getting awards that time during his very early teenage and you know between 8 to 15 16 years he got about four five great international awards already so okay. he is now pursuing engineering and for, okay. for the final semester he is uh, he is in, so, in, in final so, semester so if i take that thing uh, the engineers family i mean people are pursuing photography and a yeah, photographer's yeah. family uh, sadh is pursuing engineering <laughs> how contradictory yeah, because, is that <laughs> yeah the, the point is photography is already in the blood so once you are established as some field then of course you is very easy to migrate into a photographer's uh, shoes and yeah. if you have seen history of photographers we have photographer like ashok dilwali sahab landscape photographer he used to be a chartered accountant right okay. so he switched that profession and become a very very established landscape photographer so many right. photographers were already doing btech and then they switched to uh, photography and then then maybe that makes their life easy because they understand mathematics and physics in a better way so i exactly. i got queries which are very very strange you know people who are not eligible and not who are not doing even their uh, 12th standard they want to become a photographer they think that this is a easy cup of tea which is exactly. it is not because you have to be very very particular about the technology and of course uh, you know all all things require a lot of uh, reading and getting new technology so i will say mm-hmm. that you know if you do a graduation then of course after that you pursue photography seriously yeah so don't think that after school just you will go as a photographer it's very tough very tough okay uh sir so uh, a, a very generic question comes here you are actually from the generation which is uh, before instagram generation basically before, you <laughs> so so uh, i i hope you don't mind me saying that because uh, i i just want to because there is there is kind of a you know uh, uh, new trend came up after instagram and there there is there are photographers after instagram there were photographers before instagram so of you course. belongs to that before instagram section where you were a photographer you were earning you were growing and you were established that time how difficult was it when instagram as a social media platform or forget about just instagram there was no social media at all in uh, just to say how how was how difficult was it to actually establish in that environment when you cannot have the audience right at the very first moment when you have the picture clicked and you can like upload right above you know that time the whole environment was on coffee table books and magazines so okay. if we if we get an advertising assignments that would be very good to earn bread and butter you know you get lot of money when you do advertising photography but when you do a editorial book or a feature in your magazine you get a credit line which was needed uh-huh. at that era so that okay. was the recognition you get so i used to carry a big box of books and magazines for editors when i go for a meeting i okay. i remain freelancer forever you know maybe you can say like over 27 years i am still jobless right because <laughs> i never want to pursue you know uh, photography Corporate job, jobs right. yeah yeah so i always remain freelancer i did what i liked you know and you know that made me lot of accessible towards teaching also because there was no boss you are your own boss so you can manage your time accordingly right exactly. so that time we used to put those magazines and books coffee table books on table of your editor and creative director and they were very pleased to see those published work now okay. the trend changes instagramming and you know a lot of facebook and then pdf going on emails as a portfolio maybe sometimes the charm is missing because you can't see your pictures in this small format so you exactly. need to have a bigger uh, you know some something which can attract photography so uh, but then uh, for technology i was always embracing all those technologies because dad also used to embrace all the new cameras at home so we were never restricted to old school thought uh, film cameras only so we mig- exactly. migrated to digital uh, in 2004 only 
so and then mm. computers so my first picture on instagram would be i if i can recall is 2012 or 2013 Uh-huh. So, okay you can scroll down and see that also that was just taken with iphone 5 because that time <laughs> that was the best phone and yes. the challenge yes. was that time the airdrop the, the camera wifi features were not available so you have to take right. the image come back home get to your email and then from email you save the picture in your <laughs> iphone 5 and then you post it because cameras right. were also bad the camera right. in mobile right. were not that great so right. i have right. used that in kum Uh, Mahakum 2013. I remember a couple of shots, quick shots, and we were trying Instagram filters, and then Instagram was only square. You uh-huh, can't have right. a vertical picture that time. The format was only restricted to square images. So, so that growth was good. That was good. But maybe you can say I could, I would be the first uh, photographer from that era who who was very active with social networking and technology. even right. same with mirrorless uh, we adopted mirrorless before 2012 when the right. mirrorless right. were only 2/3 uh, like 4/3 frames and uh, your uh, aps cs uh-huh. yeah so so that way it was very good and i love instagram i i i really like seeing post of other photographers what they are doing how they are mixing digital uh, uh, enhancement with photography sometimes and uh, but then when it comes to pure photography like street wildlife photojournalism so then le- less touch up is always recommended otherwise then the beauty is missing but when you talk about landscapes you talk about product photography or glamour or portraiture so you are free to do whatever you like right so right. that is important right so uh, on on uh, taking that note further sir uh, i i have seen you still maintain that classic touch in your photos you you don't uh, uh, mix and match lots of things and you don't uh, get into too much into editing you don't do too much of uh, saturation too much of all those uh, toning stuff and all your feed is still that classic feed where you uh, maintain the stuff in the very original format jo color dikh raha hai wahi color dikh raha hai मैंने ब्लू को ब्लू को मैंने सेटल नहीं कर दिया ज्यादा मैंने ऑरेंज को टील नहीं कर दिया ज्यादा ऑरेंज एंड टील नहीं कर दिया सो डू यू थिंक दैट यू आई मीन डू यू वांट टू हैव डन डू यू वांट टू एक्सपेरिमेंट विद दोस थिंग्स और यू जस्ट वांट टू कि मैं मेरा जो स्टाइल है मेरा जो फ्लेवर है मैं उसको ही रखूंगा लेट इट बी नो दी पॉइंट इज वेर एवर समोर सेचुरेशन स्टफ इज रिक्वायर्ड ऑफकोर्स वी डू but then when it comes to what is a camera camera is a tool which replicates what our eyes sees right so if my eyes are seeing blue sky so i can't do a cyan tone in in my sky pictures if okay. i see skin tone like you know the actual what i can see on your face or on my face so i can just can't throw magenta and make the tint <laughs> different Right. because we 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 were trained in that era where we were shooting on a film cameras on film so, right so the transparency films were the purest uh, source available that time so what what you see what you shot what you do the exposure and color correction on your filtration that comes on your transparency that was a first generation then okay. high res scanning is done and correction is done and the picture was published in magazines and posters and ad campaigns so that was the purest thing you can imagine so there was no photoshop in between photographer and designer <laughs> right but of course designers uh, dt uh, uh, desktop publishing houses they do correction at final end before print exactly. so then we know like you you take example of bbc wildlife competition you uh-huh. take example of world press they will not allow touch ups in their picture at all no touch ups no they will have only five things major things which are allowed in photography i'll tell you again burn and torch okay. because that is okay. a darkroom technique right it is not a digital technique we used to do in That's our uh, darkroom with black and white and color printing then you yeah. can have a color brightness contrast set right we used to change the paper grade to do that Uh-huh. right and then then you can add a little bit of saturation we do it with the color correction filters we were shooting on film we put a warmer filter to get a okay. better skin tones right, we right. are shooting in cloudy day so we are shooting with 81a filter which was a warmer filter 
so this was the color theory goes behind your white balance because a right. lot of the modern photographers they are not knowing the color theory at all because they never worked with a film right? <laughs> right, right so so we know that you know you need that kind of like if i'm wearing a maroon shirt then it should not look like red shirt right, right to right. get my point yes so of course in in a landscape we do sdrs we we merge nine frames together we do some highlight and shadows right so that works very good then final stage of editing needs a little bit of sharpening so that is very very important so okay yeah so burn dodge <coughs> brightness contrast then saturation then moderate cropping because more you crop you end up with losing megapixels so we are saying that you know i'm i'm using a camera which is now 60 megapixel so uh, okay so this is a A7R Mark IV, yes. right? So latest from Sony mirrorless uh, segment, and it shoots yes. 60 megapixels. So if I'm taking images with that, so I will not crop the image because I need full output from my sensor. So right, right, right. that is there, like five things which can give you a perfect image. And okay, perfect. my image, I I like my feed to be realistic. Yes, yes. We we like it too, sir. I mean, uh, in this uh, <laughs> in this uh, atmosphere, when we have different kind of moods, tones, colors, beauty, a uh, different kind of beauty, we still see something very realistic out there, which is like original, and it, it definitely stands uh, differently. And I we, I particularly like it a lot. Right. Uh, even I, I want to follow that thing. Although I am not able to do it so much, because sometimes it gets a little. क्रेविंग रहती है कि नहीं वो जो चल रहा है वो उसको काम करो सो बट ऑफ कोर्स दैट इज नॉट लिंक टू यू आपका एक अपना एक जोनर है और उसको आप फॉलो करते हैं सो एनी वे नाउ सर मूविंग दैट आपने बीबीसी की बात करी आपने अवार्ड्स की बात करी है आप खुद भी जज रहे हैं काफी अवार्ड शोज के सॉरी अवार्ड अवार्ड फंक्शन के जो वेबसाइट वगैरह होस्ट करती है आप चाइना भी किया है आपने यूनेस्को के लिए भी किया है so uh, uh first of all it's it's really an honor for our country that uh, you you have been part of the international community and representing india it's really uh, something course. very honorable and uh, congratulations on that sir and uh, uh, and the second thing is what do you see when you judge a competition in a photograph uh, how how you take a particular photograph i mean i understand that there is a theme Uh, a person has to upload based on that theme but then as a judge uh, once a picture is uploaded on particular theme whatever theme it is what makes a picture a winning picture yeah so it was like privilege as you as you talked like you know getting uh, as a jury i was very young that time i was i to, i remember 2009 Two thousand nine, two thousand fourteen, two thousand nine, two thousand eleven, two thousand nine, two thousand thirteen, fourteen. So it was on a row. The competition yes. was Humanity Photo Awards in China, and and uh, it was an international competition. And seven juries were invited from all over the world. And first time I was called, so Dad was very impressed. I ah I would like you know you are the jury international. You are sitting as an international jury is a prestigious thing. Then. after 2 years we were talking each other like dad and me used to have a, a bedroom next doors right on the okay. same floor so we had a mm-hmm. lot of interaction photography only father and okay. son speaking only on photography nothing else but he was very Perfect. caring he used to ask mm-hmm. me you know if i have money or no because he he treat me as a, a like you know young kid throughout so i i cherish that moment spending lot of great time and affection with him and i used to go with him on his indian express assignments also on weekends because mother was in a teaching uh, she okay. used to go to a school for economics as a economics teacher so i was always with dad and you know seeing all those things happening and uh, i still remember raghubir singh saab and, and and my dad sitting on a table and you know discussing transparencies and books and that time he was making ambassador book and nobody was uh, there to pick those ambassador book pictures because those were very very life pictures and life oriented shots and very very good so i have heard their conversation a lot and you know 
you used to be a very very well dressed photographer of that era and <laughs> uh, and and he he used only 35 mm wide angle throughout his life so his okay. wide was 35 mm on his nikon so if you if you see his coffee table books they are very very good in terms of proportion and perspectives you see his varanasi fantastic kashmir is fantastic book because all were like with less of distortion then now i have seen people using like 15 mm and 14 mm for areas where it was not required at all so you have to understand <laughs> that lens also where to use that lens what is yes, important yes. so i have seen yes. those legend speaking together in my childhood right. days so that exposure was wonderful all the time right. so you know that helped me to learn that craft and trade of the art and uh, you know you are a small kid and you are listening to all these things uh, maybe deliberately or unknowingly also so wo bolte hai na ke alumni unne maa ke pet mein bahut si cheeze seekh li thi so i will also say that you know photography was so core in our family and dad was always a mentor like he was known as a encyclopedia of indian photographers so any time right. people used to call him and finding out the trouble shooting what is happening sir i am not getting the result what i what should i do because the digital was not there you can't see what is happening so you are in doubt so you will call your guru that you know i need to know what is happening so you know that so in competition so dad mentioned that you know no they will not call you second time because you know they change juries so the second time also they called me and then the third time also in a row so dad was convinced <laughs> that you made them very happy and your work would be very good as a jury yeah. so they are calling you again and again so right, right. so uh, for your query the best thing as a jury as a photographer the picture should have a wow factor wow mm-hmm. factor means it should look out of the box when you see at a first look and then content as you mentioned also content is very important it should go with the theme many times right. it happens juries decide picture by seeing the glamour of the image rather than the theme of the image so theme mm-hmm. is the first call if you are seeing a delhi picture so it should have delhi in the background you can't have okay. just a close up of a sky and cloud and show that this is a delhi of course rashpati bhavan in the foreground with the clouds will give you a delhi in your pictures so that mm-hmm. is how jury sees that is how photographer should also see so okay. then color correction processing it's always secondary so okay, the content okay. the theme and then the wow factor it should look or extraordinary it should not okay. look the cliche the boring stuff <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so so uh, so if i have to take out uh, some of the content out of that uh, equation of you which you have mentioned me so uh, for 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 a wow factor if i may redefine that thing considering something which is which which is happened in in a moment which couldn't be seen again or it's not repetitive it's unique in its own kindness so that kind of frame brings the attention just like in real life uh, we go out and we see something uh, like when we see the clouds the uh, when we see the planes have that uh, line of cloud and if four five plane are crossing so sky looks very amazing so that is something different uh, similarly in a picture we have to make things yeah so there are two ways of understanding one is of course the picture should be out of the box like it should not be repeated like it's a once in a lifetime moment you got and then other photographer can't even copy uh-huh. that is one the other yes. is you are shooting ordinary subjects but uh-huh. in an extraordinary manner right right you are seeing street you are seeing seeing all those old delhi varanasi and then kum and pushkar holi monar all things photographers are going there all the festivals hindu festivals yes. muslim festivals all festivals are like oh, sh- short uh, millions over, of times overdone, overdone i will yeah. say but then to <laughs> get different shots out of that scenario is the artist who creates okay, it right. maybe with the lens some extraordinary focal length or a vantage point he is on a very very good vantage point where he is getting everything right or almighty have done some wonders in in in, in illuminating the atmosphere and you are getting some outstanding uh, shots 
so right. that makes picture appeal you know appealing so, right right yeah otherwise so, uh, we are all shooting similar things yes yes all definitely yeah right yeah. uh so uh uh in that in that note uh, if we talk about uh, uh technicalities of picture everybody like you said everybody is shooting everybody is out there everybody is out, uh, shooting the same thing everybody goes to varanasi everybody goes to assi ghat or kumbh mein jaate hain hum sab wahi photo khinchte hain how important it is to actually have the understanding of technicalities of your gear Uh, so that you can get that perfect frame which make it outstanding among the crowd very important question first of all all our listeners everyone who is uh, attached on on our uh, live session with mayank and dheeraj paul uh, i will say that this could be a very very informative topics for you guys you if you have missed the earlier queries questions you roll back again and sit back and listen them again on your headphones because uh, the the young photographer mayank is asking very 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 elaborate uh, questions i will say i will congratulate him for moderating this uh, very very vital um, uh, you know live session for all the photographers because he I, his, his knowledge is very keen i i i will say this because i have been into the teaching photography also for over 11 years in jamia milia mass comm research center so you know i am dealing with all uh, generations of uh, photographers so mm, at at my age i i i i feel that i am too young because i always be with young people like you right so and <laughs> right. and well we need to do one thing maybe we'll, yes. we'll we'll give some extra time to our audience because i can see a lot of questions questions uh, coming yes. up so what we can do is you are very good because your eyesight is perfect you can just grab them and you can throw back to me i'll i'll pick it up out those in the last <laughs> in, right in last 15 minutes actually i dedicate this uh, question yeah. arts uh, question answer yeah. session for last 15 okay. minutes that is important because i can see a lot of good and they are appreciating also on your queries i remember this if you can see <laughs> so thank you now thank you. as for as technical part goes you know i am from that school as paul school family where his techniques were very very sharp so i will say he was the best known photographer who was technically and aesthetically both very very sound his pictures were very balanced because he his documentary style journalistic approach was glamorous and right, his right. pictures were simplified simplified means not many things around the picture but the message was very clear so right right so so then he was very good in his camera so new camera he, he used to read the manual of the camera whole night before right. he load the next film in his camera that time i have seen him doing that so that cultivated in my genes also from time right. to time so and i get a new camera and i open the box and i see the menus i set those customized menus according to my style and then practice it before okay. i do go for a final shoot out okay so this holy this holy i was using two top notch cameras 7r m4 and 9m2 a9 alpha 9m2 so both right, were right. very expensive cameras and very in latest one so i was worried what to do because holy needs a camera which is your best camera because exactly. you need best images but exactly. then as for as the drama of holy is concerned like wetting and colors and you know that those challenges you need to have a oldest camera so you as a photographer you have to compromise you know whether i need a best <laughs> picture or i need to save my best camera in my almera So, okay. so we are from that school where we need best images, right? Right. So only place in the world is Holi where I put a UV filter, because <laughs> okay. in my camera, in my camera, you will never find a filter unless I am shooting landscape. I need a polarizer or I need a ND filter. Okay. So okay. I need no nobody in the image and my lens or right. Okay. So no right. filter. So filter okay. lens I will protect by cleaning it, right? So, so techniques were very strong, and when your techniques are strong, 
when you visualize image on your streets you are very spontaneous you just go and grab that image you capture that moment if you fiddle with your camera that time so that moment is lost so that right. is the right. way some photographers they are not technically sound aesthetics are good but then they will only manage two three shots where 10 or 12 shots can be managed can you so that right. is all practice for me also okay. for you also for all our audience practice right. makes a man perfect definitely right it goes for every trade every art so if right. you are used to some cameras you will operate it very well if you have a new camera then you might struggle for a while right, right. right. so both both are very important as a photographer aesthetics okay. and techniques both and and i need to show you one collectors item we have lot of yes, collectors sir. things at home definitely we we'll love to that would be good for everyone to know this is the only camera uh like s paul was the only photographer in our country whose name was engraved on the back of the camera oh if you can great. read it can you read it man it's a little blur I, but yes i can see uh surname is first s paul yes uh, okay okay because it's reverse yes <laughs> yes yes i can see uh, it's this side uh, behind the uh, below the dial and then it's written 1970 ashai pentex photo competition oh yes yes so it, this it, camera with couple of lenses he got as a prize from ashai pentex and okay. the prestigious thing is like the name is engraved here here you can exactly see, exactly right i can see so, i can see so maybe he is the only photographer whose name was engraved on the camera so this is the camera. great achievement as a photographer exactly and then best thing is the camera is still working the shutter <laughs> is working you can okay. hear the retro i can style. hear it. yeah yes yeah. yes right and then you will find his cameras with a hood hood yes so he will not be shooting anything without the hood people yeah. say that you know hood is a sun shade we only need it when we are shooting in a sun no hood if i'm shooting here these tube lights and cfls are flaring on my lens so it is protecting that also so always exactly. you know only time you need to have a hood hood on your right. lens then then a very very remarkable uh, pocket size you can feel the size my palm are little bigger than a normal <laughs> but right, right, but right. see yes. see the size if you can see the size of this camera this is a collapsible folder a uh, medium format camera which shoot 6 uh -huh. by 6 cm frame which is bigger than okay. your 35 full frames and this is how the oh. camera look wow right? <laughs> so again this is a range finder camera german weiglander and okay. it is still working so if okay. you put a film films here and you black and white or color and you just set your Uh, because all these lenses are leaf shutter lenses, where the shutter is in the lens, not on a focal plane. Now oh, okay. all our cameras are a focal plane shutter. The the shutter is on on the image plane, but in this shutter is on the lens. So okay. you okay. you 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 wind it from here, and then and then you roll your film manually, and then you click the shot. So this is how the picture is made. So you have twelve wow. frames in this. So twelve frames really means 12. you have to be very critical when you are shooting. So my point, why I am showing you and coming back to digital photography is the only problem and drawback in digital photography is we are shooting too much, too much, right? And we are not deleting. <laughs> so the end of so because we don't have time or we think that all pictures are good. So exactly. end of the day. end of the day what happens you you just keep on shooting 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 and you find that your good pictures are always always lost somewhere so <laughs> for exercising on street you limit yourself one day you go out yeah. okay yes, and give yeah, yourself speaking, speaking the heart sir actually you are speaking the heart i mean this is not happening right now <laughs> yeah so you you need to go out with a 36 frames in your mind that i will shoot only 36 pictures in my digital dslr and i okay. will not see the screen so okay. your your screen your your back screen should be covered with your black paper okay right 
okay to practice so when you go to out practice. with a black paper and only 36 frames and no delete allowed okay <laughs> yeah so okay. you you are seeing from your optical view finder great right. you are analyzing exposure from your brain your or you are sonic the help of metering sonic whatever sonic live exposure there हाँ तो इसलिए डीएसएलआर बोला ना मैंने आपको ये इलेक्ट्रॉनिक व्यू फाइंडर तो आप लाइव देखते रहेंगे लेकिन लिमिट कर सकते हैं बट मैं चाहता हूँ एक्सपोजर भी सीखें सो देन आफ्टर यू कम बैक एंड देन यू सी ऑल दो थर्टी सिक्स फ्रेम हाउ दे आर प्लेस्ड व्हाट इज द एक्सपोजर एंड वॉट इज द कॉन्टेंट देन यू विल नो दैट आउट ऑफ दैट थर्टी सिक्स हाउ गुड यू आर दैट वॉज सेम थिंग फोटोग्राफर डूइंग ओके ओके So two frame films in a in your camera bag, you you are a rich photographer for that time. Seventy <laughs> two exposures. Exactly. But now exactly. now you are a poor photographer with sixty four GB card in your bag. <laughs> that is because true. you need two fifty six. Yes. Right. So the yes. era changes that way. So. Right. that was interesting about film versus digital and uh, you know no but that th- this this is very interesting actually i would like to do this activity by myself and if people wants this uh, to be done well, i mean this can be as a challenge once we are out of this lockdown we yeah. can uh, to to get the practice of your device to get the learning of uh, uh, techn- technicalities of your device learn in more better way Let's just go out with that thirty-six of frames in your mind that I'm gonna shoot only thirty-six frames with the screen black and coming back on, then seeing it on the desktop directly rather than seeing on the viewfinder. That will definitely help. I have never yeah. lost this thing in my mind. It's I I gonna do this thing. Yeah, it happened <laughs> last year. I was with with two uh, uh, Sony cameras on electronic viewfinder, and then one camera was like on a film black and white. I was shooting black and white film. because brands are now remanufacturing those black and white films now and okay. uh, i i went uh, like you know 10 uh, stairs down on a ghat and then i visualized from the frame and i could not the frame could not impress me i took no picture because i was on a film but when you right. are on a digital you just take three four and then you think that i'll decide later what is happening you know that that <laughs> attitude you will all, always get when you limit yourself exactly exactly it's the same true. thing is the same thing when your memory card is getting full you know that only 10 frames are now there and i don't have time to delete the previous pictures so i have to do everything in those 10 shots right, right so right. that is what is happening. perfect perfect uh, that that should helps help a lot of people out there who are uh, running behind the data and uh, they are uh, like uh, i have some hard disk with like these many hard disk which i have which i have full of data i have never edited them and i have some 12 20 12 13 hard disk of 2 2 3 gb 4 gb so yeah i going to find that thing okay before I, i before i miss it there is a question from shweta malutra ma'am i am i'm really grateful that she is also there in the call and she is asking the question it's it's great uh, she is asking that how do you plan uh, your black and white shots do you plan while clicking them or do you decide this at the time of post processing again very very relevant query like you know it's a two way round you know sometimes you go to a situation where you find like lot of clutter in your street shots like example you you go to a street and you have a bata uh, big hoarding at your back which is like in red red and white so yes. when you are taking a color image in old delhi or varanasi with that logo you see that you know it's all the attention is taking by by this red color or exactly. a big big bata font which is very very big so you need to decide that i need to do it in black and white okay because okay. i go back and i need to shift it into a gray scale because color will not work at all and especially the situation like holy like i will never present a holy picture in black and white sorry to say <laughs> lot of photographers doing it like you know black and white holy is no black and white it's a festival of colors color you need to do justice with with the situation so even you if you saturate those color that is also looks vulgar because it's already a saturated uh, stuff exactly. right so and on, 
if sun is falling on your subject and you saturate your images that looks very very gaudy of course you are shooting the samaj or the kirtan at 4:30 pm so the light is vanishing then of course you add saturation it adds beauty a little But bit sun is falling on those uh, you know red people and you know all those uh, muddy and you know all those colorful stuff it ruins your image and then right. where you are seeing something very very artistic and graphic in architecture or or you are doing some old man's portrait where you know the lines are important not the complexion and he is also wearing whites like the pagadi the dhoti or stuff the indian attire the village style uh, so retro one so of course black and white is the call because you need to see the character rather than the color exactly right? so so both these are very important whenever we are doing black and white stuff and of course many times it happens when we see our images later on 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 your uh, desktop or big screens you realize that you know i i should do a black and white and see how it looks so it all aesthetics which goes into uh, the art uh, so i like both so but largely our i see is color now so <laughs> all people appreciate color these days earlier time why those photographers were having all black and white portfolios and body of work is because that time the color films were not that accurate right so right. they were shooting on black and white because the newspaper the media the magazines were black and white Right, right. right. So there were right. no newspaper with color pages. Now you will have all pages with color. So trend has exactly. evolved from black and white to color, right? Right. And then right. it doesn't mean that if you turn your color picture into black and white, it looks art artistic. It is fine art. No, fine yeah. art picture is only where your elements, your your uh, contents, your behavior. Every, your execution is like that you know your picture looks right. outstanding with its characters not by black and white or color so right. that is the thing yeah perfect so <clears throat> so since, since we have this uh, digital world already where uh, uh, if you click a raw image whether you set the setting to black and white also you get that color but yeah. you can at least have that jpg in the uh, the black and white format and you can actually see what your camera is seeing right now Yeah. So yes, that that does make sense that uh, you can have uh, the black and white when when it is very much relevant. When you see there is a lot of distraction out there in the form of color, and you want your subject to be main focus, go ahead with that. Um, so uh, so uh, Shweta ma'am, I hope you got the questions. Ah, uh, question answer. Only there. only thing is on on this black and white. I need to add one thing which is beautiful in our uh, mirrorless cameras. Uh -huh. Why it is beautiful? Uh, as you said, when we are shooting raw. right in dslrs yes and you set on a black and white mode but raw will always remain color color because yes. it's a is a pure uh, uh, unedited file straight from the sensor yes right but the viewfinder always shows you color because it's an optical viewfinder take an example of your uh, any electronic viewfinder camera right it's black so, so when you set it on a black and white so right. it is showing black and white in your okay. viewfinder in your okay. screen okay. so then visualizing that shot is very very easy you can easy. see okay there is a looking good in black and white or it's not looking good in black and white you can decide on the spot on which the spot. dslr the dslr can't able to process that feeling right 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 so that is one plus point so if you you need to do some assignments in black and white you are shooting fashion in black and white for a magazine so better to use electronic viewfinder cameras so uh -huh. that you can have your electronic viewfinder set on black and white throughout because eyes are seeing right. color but your viewfinder will show you black and white live right right so you right. can feel that you know what colors are gelling what color like maroon will become dark gray and your gray will become little whitish so you know that exactly yeah exactly exactly so <clears throat> i mean that that's really i mean this is something which i also learned uh, about this camera that i can in the electronic viewfinder i can see the black and white only uh, and then you I, set I, it on raw then yeah. image will be if you want color then we, the color is image will be colored we will have the raw as it is 
Uh, I, I'll come come to this raw versus black and white uh, JPG a little later because I have a question there. But uh, since I have just uh, again forty uh, forty minutes left there in the call, I just want to have the uh, a, a kind of short experience about your teaching, which where you have just said that you uh, taught in Jamia Millia. You were there for eleven years. I wanted to uh, understand how was that teaching experience, and uh, are you still doing it, or you left it and just doing the photography thing? I mean, uh, no, 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 speaking. no. It was it was a like you know the passion of teaching because two thousand twelve. I remember we we opened Indian Photo Tours, uh, commercial company where we do uh, all those uh, photo experiences, photo tours. Yes. Where you, you know you get for professional photographers, you get amateurs from all walks of life, and they go together with you, where you arrange everything for them, and you teach them, you live with them, they they enjoy your company or you enjoy your company. It's both way, and that yes. was a very, very fantastic experience. Like you you grow with with a photographer's family, like exactly. they do, they all are uh, across the globe, and you are in touch with them. you see their work on insta on facebook we are featuring their portfolios also on our uh, insta handle so that was curating those portfolios are even amazing so okay. it was like 11 years back i started going as a guest faculty to mascom research center it's a post graduation diploma course in still photography and visual okay. communication there so okay. one of that kind in our country only 20 seats per year okay so very tough admission and uh, you have to be very good and very keen to learn photography to get admission there and then it was like dealing with those young kids like 20s is very very uh, you know <laughs> encouraging one you stay young you stay young then you learn a lot you read a lot because you need to narrate that in your lectures and bad thing about me is i never prepare my scripts <laughs> i know in my mind because it's in the genes already like mother and father both were in teachings like you know throughout their life yes. so that i am with the grace of god and with the genes available in my brain you know that was instinct natural instinct so it, we are talking but never drafted anything on my table or somewhere nothing is there behind my mobile also so we are yes. just doing spontaneous things so my lectures are also very spontaneous i know what kids needs to know like the teenager who you know like to do photography or want to pursue this career uh, in future what they need to know so i go there yeah. i spend time the whole day i go there i take them to various field trips around delhi in delhi right and then we come back we see the images and we we go out and have tea in, in our breaks to uh, you know cafes and all nearby cafes or small canteens in college so that makes your repo with them so they should know that you are approachable first as a mentor exactly. if the mentor is not approachable so it means you lose one to one connection with your audience right right so best thing what instagram and and lockdown is doing is all the mentors all the photographers acclaimed photographers are now approachable because okay. maybe they, they they thought that okay they need presence so okay somebody is asking okay let's go let's do it but then too much of everything is also bad man if you will call me three days after three days again then i will say no no we'll have a new brand new topic right we won't be yeah. speaking on the similar lines so that as a mentor as a photographer as experienced artist you need to know how to do that performance right without yes. any retakes because this is live right. there is no retake right. no recording so it have to be very very straight from the heart exactly. so exactly. that is why so i enjoy teaching so okay. so whenever i am in town so they will call me and find out my schedule of when are you traveling when are you at hotel so give us two days a week and come over so that way i do so okay. that is more of again a family association because it's long time like 11 years are too much so exactly. and people know that you know when when at some admissions are going on so people know that dheeraj paul is also one of their guest faculty so they expect me to be there exactly so you know yeah so that that is encouraging also because you also learn many thing you you update your knowledge every every hour yeah that helps 
<clears throat> okay uh sir uh i i really have only 9 minutes to go and i i don't wow. know this session will take too much <laughs> the we do it. i i don't want this session to end particularly but uh, i can't control that but i'll take quick questions i have some questions of mine uh, also but uh, let's let's get the audience in, involved i don't want them to uh, left alone <laughs> it's like these people are talking and talking and we <laughs> no, we are not making any sense but yeah audience i am taking the questions now and uh, if you have given questions earlier i couldn't take them earlier please uh, you can drop them again i can see there are few questions which are repetitive uh, i mean uh, repeatedly have been asked from ayush uh, ayush has asked how to keep the creative brain working and motivated under such circumstances where one has to remain indoors and he is the current student of jamia he is mentioned okay now the point is you have to be relaxed whenever you are pursuing any art because it's it's all about craft and you know sensitivity and your mind need to be relaxed you keep practicing and explore and read material which is available especially books because sometimes the information on the internet is not authenticated unless it comes from some authentic website or some authentic photography author or mentor or photographer So yes anything on internet will not do justice so books i will recommend old books encyclopedias or specific books focal press you can read those books so that will be helpful or some american uk magazines which may be old issues right maybe 10 years old 8 years old but then the the essentials the fundamentals of photography will never change exactly only the medium changes from film you you are using digital from 6 megapixel you are 60 megapixel on 35 mm camera but then the working the wide balance the color temperature the focusing it's the same infinity focus will remain infinity focus only thing is the algorithm of auto focusing changes now the new wave is on i auto focus is very very new it's it's tremendously fast because you don't have to bother anything you just compose your frame and focusing point is there on the eye that eye. is wonderful yeah exactly so so cool mind is important relax and don't get carried away by other photographers like they are doing very good don't get jealous yes yes take inspiration don't rush out <laughs> rush also you can you can actually uh, take your own time there uh, if somebody is doing something good in two days doesn't mean you have to do that in two days of course you of can take it. capabilities are different your learning their learning is different and nobody is made in one day like no artist no photographer no cities you exactly. need time you need time don't think okay. that this photographer made the name in just 5 days or 5 <laughs> minutes or 50 days no it's like ages it's ages definitely uh another question i want to take uh, it's coming again and again regarding food photography uh, uh some people are asking about food photography i'm <laughs> i haven't seen you doing food photography uh, uh, when not on your feed at least but uh, if you have so good, uh, good, idea good, of good question asked because uh, uh, i'll put these books also on 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 your table that okay. uh, the first assignment i got at the age of 19 years 1919 okay. uh, i just joined delhi university hansraj college and got assignment with morya sheraton ITC hotel mm -hmm. and okay. and the the publisher was Rolly Books, very okay. well known. And the there was the first book for them and first book for me on food. So the the commitment was simple. I'll go there first day and shoot couple of pictures and if they like my work, they will give the assignment because they okay. were new. I was new, okay. right? So and and incidentally, uh, I took to have five pictures in that day on a film camera, Nikon. and uh, uh -huh. transparency film with a with a macro lens uh, 105 2.8 i okay. still remember and the other lens carried was 85 one uh, f2 right okay. so nikon okay. makes that uh, old lens which is uh, nikkor f2 85 mm both manual focus right so and that time the assist my assistant was 10 year older to me right so i was giving command to those uh, big uh, so called uh, <laughs> elders also and the four out of five pictures four pictures were used in in the coffee table book and and after that we did lot of books and till date i have done more than 35 books on travel on interiors on food or maybe uh, i'll show one one here quickly 
and the, these were the mocktail shot on a film camera okay right? okay wow right <laughs> so all are lavishly done uh, books uh, printed in yes. uh, singapore or maybe uh, you talk a uh, famous uh, 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 like chef uh, corporate chef from itc manjeet gill this, this is on local okay. and uh-huh. uh, you talk of a uh, kashmiri food wazwa and this is a famous author rocky mohan sir Uh, sir, I want to, I want to interrupt you here. Uh, uh, I have nearly two minutes, but I want uh, if you if you allow, I want to extend this session for another half an hour. This session. Why not? End. If 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 we have people here, I'm, of course we will like to address them. Uh, so uh, I, I this session will end actually in uh, in three minutes, and okay. I'm gonna initiate this again. So uh, to audience, uh, I mean uh, rather than just so before before this it, session ends. I need to show you one stress buster for photographers. Like you, if you are <laughs> into music, you need to play music. If you like, uh, you know, uh, listening to music, then also you need to do music. So yes, last and session, guys, you last can query come of back. We'll yes, have, you can come we'll back. Have... We are having another half an hour. So Dheeraj uh, sir is playing. This session will end. We will start it again. I just call to say I love you. आते जाते हंसते जाते सोचा था मैंने मन में कई बार वो पहली नजर हल्का सा असर करता है क्यों इस दिल को बेकरा यही सच है शायद मैंने प्यार किया बात है चलना चल के रुकना ना जाने तुम्हें है किसका ये आस या मैं कह दू या चुपके से मैं कर लू स्वीकार आई लव यू आज गुस्से आई लव यू माइंड ग्लोइंग माइंड ग्लोइंग आई एन I have done really amazing session, and uh, I don't want to offend any artist. But so far, I think personally, this is the best session I have taken. Uh, not because uh, there is a lack of knowledge or anything. I mean, enhanced knowledge. Yes, knowledge is there. It was there in previous session, but the way it has been delivered to me and this song, it made this session amazing. I want to extend this session. Lockdown is like you know we need to come out from the lockdown one day. So music and. you know relaxation is very important uh, after after this session we going to i mean uh, once i started back i going to have another song sir this <laughs> this is really okay, okay. <laughs> this is too. really uh, nice uh, i i'm not sure how many of the audience were aware that you could sing also but you sing really well i mean amazing no, I, mean, <laughs> i had people <laughs> see my social uh, uh, media and you know facebook and insta you will find somewhere tag or some live session in our photo tours also when we go out we have a jamming uh, session somewhere if we get our orchestra there so we take their guitar and then you know we start singing our old songs and you know skishor kumar and adi burma and then then you know that stuff so so that was thing so yes 30 seconds uh, message has come uh, i going to end this session right now guys i am starting it again so don't miss it we going to continue the where we have left we have books to check on uh, and we are having the questions next 30 minutes will only be the audience question none from me of so course of come back guys thank you take care bye bye see you yep on the other side sir just right so uh, <laughs> uh we are back with the session again and since the session was so interesting uh i couldn't uh, just end it and i want uh, more of it <laughs> i hope uh, other people also looking for more knowledge from dheeraj sir uh he he was fantastic and uh, we we gonna have him back now and uh, 
there will be so many things which we'll be asking further on this session uh, now everything will be audience query so let me invite him again and uh, yes thank you so much guys for joining these sessions it actually means a lot to me uh, i'm i'm really grateful to everyone and he's back again so yeah uh, i, I and get those questions uh, which were there in the previous session so guys if you were there in the previous session if you have dropped a question there uh, please free uh, feel free to drop, drop it again i am really sorry i am taking this uh, uh, i mean a rework but uh, it has to be done i am so sorry about it <laughs> so uh, so sir, by the time people join in uh, uh, shall shall we continue our uh, books uh, which you were showing of us of course of course so the the story goes like you know uh, started earning at the early age of 19 when you know uh, a teenager don't know what ne he needs to do in life so and getting those fancy assignments in five star hotels were like a uh, dream come true right and then uh, that time i used to uh, you know go in a maruti 800 uh, car of the family and yeah the, the car was loaded with studio lights and uh, and equipment and two yes. of us were assistant and myself i was driving myself that day those days and then uh, you know we were listening to michael bolton and then die states on the go to uh, moria because it took about 40 minutes to reach that time from my place to moria sheraton now maybe it will take more than an hour because a lot of traffic in delhi cars were very less those time and that so so all those books uh, were done and very very popular book is one this is uh, the art of indian cuisine by rocky mohan uh, okay a lot of reprints have been done to this book okay. already and and then if you see the credit line of photographer is very important on the cover it's it's difficult to read so because it's a mirror <laughs> yeah yeah, We, yeah but then you you will see right yes okay uh, a treasure of exotic uh, i can yeah. i was reading something yeah. uh, a, a treasure a treasure and of exotic if, recipe look, in... up, bef, okay up photo my... <laughs> yeah photographer dheeraj paul <laughs> so so what i was telling you is like you know that thing was so important that you get a credit line or even if you see the back flip you get photographer's bio yeah right right so that was the achievement because no instagramings no awareness but then this was your portfolio you know you portfolio. keep this on on a editor's table and he is opening the book in front of you and seeing the stuff right right right, right so right. and you get work right so that was the thing needed to get work in those 90s right and yes. so and this is this one with with harper uh uh collins we did a book and it's for the uk market internationally made book and this was the first book done on a digital camera and is it was a nikon d200 i still remember with 60 mm 2.8 lens because on aps-c mode it become 90 so it, uh -huh. it makes a wonderful uh, combination for macro for food and this yes. book was done and and you know and shallow wow. depth of field was being created i i sorry for my neck, lack of knowledge sir i was not aware that you used to do food photography also like so good so the point is the the career started with food and architecture photography and okay. and did lot of jewelry uh, books textile books miniature uh, paintings so and then the very very recent work uh, two years back three years back it was published was the book with rashpati bhavan very very prestigious assignment that was first table of uh, indian uh, like first india's first table was the book covered banquets and uh, restaurants or like banquets of rashpati bhavan uh, so the challenge was like you are not allowed to do lot of stuff there because of security reason because pm yes, and yes. Prime Minister, pm and president both are sitting across on that long table <laughs> you have to take yes. so then fast lenses made those books very appealing because you okay. need fast lenses so that was how you know uh, that was more of bread and butter and then 
Uh, then travel photography came later with lot of uh, journalistic approach to the pictures right. storytelling yeah so uh, uh, i think i think we we got those things but uh, somewhere we lost the question when people were asking about uh, the food photography uh, like what all things you keep in mind while doing or why while you did those food photography uh, the basic techniques and yeah, tricks yeah. of getting that very important shot. is the light need to be diffused and backlights are essential for all food shots because you need to bring out lot of textures in food pictures and colors of course should look natural like for coriander should look coriander mint should look mint you can't like just saturate everything because then your white plate will also get saturated it yes. will also become cast so whites need to be white in your pictures whether it's food or it's people so if your whites are white then all colors are in place right okay. so then food pictures need lot of patience because you you need to do one food shot at least in an hour's time set up planning lighting then the props like you know what goes where along with your plate is very important and then you are shooting shallow depth of field or you are shooting on f16 you are giving lot of you know sharpness to your pictures so setup is very very important shooting just takes 10 minutes but then more than 1 hour is like you are setting up so then you have to know the language of your lenses like you know if you go very close to your plate it would be distorted you go back take a ladder and take it from a distance and then of course uh, that can so you done. chart it out these things like you write you draw a chart or you just uh, have these things in mind earlier initially yes initially we we need to do that but then with a practice with doing that stuff on daily basis then you know what you are doing right so yes. you know you know if you place your light on this side what will happen to the food and you need a reflector on the other side and don't confuse yourself with too many light don't put five lights and then you think that you are a good photographer mastering <laughs> single light is very important for everyone so right. because if you go out almighty sun is one have you seen two sun coming up and light your <laughs> mornings no so no. so place one light in your studio or just open up the window and just uh, allow window light to fall on your subject and place reflectors thermocoles white or gold or silver on the other side those exactly. are secondary okay. lights those are secondary okay. lights and then the focus need to be very very precise because if you are showing your food your main dish then the focus need to be very neat there so that you 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 the reader should see that and the, the delicacy should be there yeah mouth watering <laughs> has to be yes okay right it should not look ugly it should not look okay. ugly okay yeah. perfect perfect that does make sense even those who doesn't eat non veg should feel the urge of eating that food <laughs> by the picture <laughs> of course of course of course right so uh, uh, uh janardan shri has asked a question that how to overcome street photograph street photo walks and with street portraits uh, very important we, uh, yeah, we need uh, to keep keep our hesitation at home when we are out on the streets abhi kya ho gaya hai ki people think that are log kya kahenge yaar main agar camera leke apni road pe niklunga lane mein to are mera padosi kya bolega my neighbor will think are yaar he is hanging a camera and he is shooting pictures because for maybe layman for majority of uh, our people photography is is not a profession it's a something else so what you do i i am a photographer so aur kya karte ho so waisa wala attitude rehta tha but now that has been changed but then how you present yourself is very important as a photographer because you are artist you are an artist so if you say people ask me you ask me what you do may i ask me uh, uh so uh, dear sir what do you do photography so this is one okay. way of approaching photography <laughs> you are demoralized on your own and you are doing photography ask again Okay, Dheeraj uh, sir, what do you do for a living? I'm a photographer. Okay. I do photography. <laughs> so now you are encouraged, and you you know the pronunciation of that trade, photography. It's one word. Yes. So 
so that makes other other people numb and uh-huh. if you if you talk foolish of your profession then and no one will take you seriously so so confidence is the key there that's right. of course confidence is very important and you should know your uh, subject right right uh, in in the uh, like uh, uh, that that is one part of the question i think the other part of the question is the person says that he is planning to do street photo walk but okay. when he comes back home he he end up getting street portraits ah so <laughs> why why because when we see anything from a wide angle perspective wide angle lens lot of elements are there in the pictures so keep right. them separated in layers is very very vital for street photographer that only comes with practice and little bit of keen observation so for yes. that when you see from a viewfinder of your camera first see the four corners right record that man four yes. corners first align your composition and then come to your main subject and align that what people okay. miss is they go to street they find some very attractive subject and they keep it off center or whatever and they forget what is coming at the back behind the okay. subject so okay. i will okay. say that when you approach your main element then very very wise to see what surroundings are there how mm. we need to make our lens place so that everything is coexistence they right, should right. look contributing it should not look clashing so when we fail to do that we try taking portraits because portraits is a close up right and we are doing shallow depth of field it will makes our life easy because <laughs> background clutter get lost in shallow depth of field right right okay. so he is very right but then of course with lot of practice and lot of constant studying then you develop yourself and never copy anybody's style that is for street photographers if somebody has done something already don't repeat that do something refreshing something new yeah right 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 uh, <clears throat> another question on street uh, photography only is that the majority of the human subjects and even uh, in the street photography the the majority of the subject is basically human and even maximum of them is like showing the poverty since i am based in varanasi so i observe this particular type only uh, visuals underscore amrit has asked this question hmm so he he needs to know the uh, uh, street visuals uh, <clears throat> the street visuals are more or less either human subject or somewhat poverty line only so it's no, like no 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 he is very right lot of people are doing that especially photographers from east part of our country or bangladesh and that that side they are just minting money out of showing poverty but things are very very like you know you will say that things are very very bright on the streets also if they are into the culture they will forget poverty they will be very happy seeing the god or the temple they are they would be wearing new clothes colorful clothes on the festival just grab that doesn't mean that we need to place our camera so that we see the shabby street of our old towns because normally uh-huh. all holy places all towns old cities are not that well kept because a lot of tourists lot of pilgrimage is happening so they are right. not that clean but then things are working better if i see going to varanasi now and i visualize it like 5 years back or 10 years back they were more shabby now they are okay. better but the responsibility yes. of humans are also there if when we are doing rituals we should not throw those old stuff in ganges or in yamuna that is important so if we right. do that then it's very good for everyone and then when we place our lens it's important to show the smile in the faces rather than poverty so okay. you will find very less pictures of me shooting something like poverty because i shoot but i ignore them because i think that india has more potential than just showing poverty in the poverty right and and it's basically the day to day activity also when 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 you go outside you see what you you shoot what you see outside it's not just the yeah. poverty thing if somebody is taking a dip in ganga doesn't mean he is poor he might yeah, be some rich people came course. out of uh, a big good background but he has that uh, 
आस था कि मैं यहाँ जाऊंगा नहाऊ स्नान लूंगा सो That, that, I think we have a question saying that how to shoot a moon because you know a lot of people are shooting moon <laughs> today and yesterday. So first thing for shooting moon like super moons and pink moons and purnima moons which are full moons. So best is like you have to have a steady tripod because when you moon rise is happening, just go Google the moon rise time and moon set time. So that you know that this Delhi moon rise time was about uh, seven. Five past seven or something this evening. Right. So I was shooting moon on this upstairs before this session, because of course we need to keep ourselves busy. And uh, right. then <laughs> when you are shooting moon, study tripod one, manual focus. Second, yes. long yes. telephoto right. lens should be yes. there. If you are using a full frame camera, you can switch to APS-C crop mode so that you get a magnification of one point five x. right so i was shooting 400 mm 100 400 zoom lens with 1.5 crop factor so it becomes 600 mm lens right mm-hmm. and i was shooting mm-hmm. on on 60 megapixel so that i can crop the moon later and you know make that picture more presentable then focus should not be on infinity you just focus near infinity you will find the contours of moon would be very sharp right and then keep bracketing 3 4 frames then do raw processing later right? right and i was shooting the last shot done by me around 7:30 pm right the exposure i was giving f8 30th of a second at 100 iso i repeat 130th right. is the shutter time f8 is the aperture size and iso 100 iso okay yeah okay. so a uh, 30 one by 30 was fine sir you we were not having that uh, no it was a bright no no there was no cloud actually and uh-huh. it was very bright and if if you if you do a slow shutter speed in moon then it would be a white patch because it's reflect the light of the sun it is too uh-huh. bright actually see the shot yeah if you okay, right. see right, right. you see yes, right yes. now right now no reflections no yeah so you can see the detail and this is unprocessed picture in the camera itself so okay, when you go okay. take this picture in your uh, photo editing software and enhance the look then you get the right and the white balance need to be on kelvin or uh-huh. if you don't want that you put it on auto and later you decide you know what kind of the tint was there it was little on a pink or it's it's more on the yellowish because yellowish. Yeah, this evening was little yellowish warm so okay the camera picked up that warmth on about 4500 kelvin yeah. yes yes okay yeah. <clears throat> so uh, there are few people uh, who are asking about the books and the documentaries which they can watch or check uh, if they want to get more into photography like details about that only if you only, can read only my, yeah only thing is like the books are now vanishing because a lot of uh, you know the stores are not active and people don't want to buy those big books but if you get hold of some libraries around and then you go to uh, some old photographers where they have some collection you can borrow books or if they would like to you know part away with those old stuff you can take that but uh, old magazines are available pdfs are always available on internet so you can get hold okay. of those pdfs and i will suggest popular photography american magazine and and one magazine is digital photographer U, uk magazine what digital photography and then am- amateur photographer all three four magazines are very good in terms of uh, content okay okay <clears throat> uh, another uh, question i want to take here is what do you keep in mind in drafting your contracts drafting my contracts so uh hmm, i always worked on the words for long time you know so very few contracts i have signed for work because i trust people and they trust trusted me and in that era but now things are getting worst you need to do a contract before you do any 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 big work so sometime when you are paid as an assignment photographer so contract says that copyright belong to the Uh, pay like who is paying you so that you need to abide by that when you give your picture like you have the collection and you are 
giving for stock picture agencies or you are giving for calendars or the coffee table books then you get the uh, main copyright with you so whenever you are drafting a contract it has to be clear that this picture is your copyright and this is for one time use so maybe it's for one publication for once use if you do it another time you have to pay separately and all the fees all the taxes need to be uh, you know uh, cleared before you do any any trade because later things get very worst and there are copyright issues happening in in this trade because people are lifting stuff from various things and you know they are putting their names and making a insta feed with your pictures so you can challenge them in court also it's a long process but you need to teach them lesson right right okay that is <clears throat> so uh, how much photography is changed uh, these days compared to older days and what's the timeless trend in terms of processing i think well, in the in I mean, beginning we have a kind of uh, uh, started on this note only uh, but still if you can want to like no largely i will say that i will never go back to film honestly okay because digital is the future digital have lot of controls i will honestly tell you that after 2005 nobody ask me or my dad to give a film a uh, reproduction they were okay. happy with digital we were happy shooting with digital right we we used to see the result on the spot we you know make them yeah. more improved and the client was happy because the scanning part was eliminated Exactly. they were giving straight raw files or edited version they were printing it straight okay so 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 new era is all digital and next level would be even interesting every third month you will have a new camera lined up that is true right. like yes we are and then something. we need to admit one thing that dslr market is already shrinked it is not shrinking it is already shrinked so anyone who is into electronic you find a cameras mirrorless cameras will survive so you will see all big giants are now producing mirrorless cameras and all third party lens vendors are producing lenses for them right so it shows that the market is now pushed to mirrorless technology right okay. and there is no okay. confusion guys <laughs> mirrorless there is no mirror in the camera so mirror is not the part of taking pictures <laughs> picture is taken on the sensor through the lens mirror right. is just a 45 degree placing of a mirror which shows it in your optical view finder right so if there is no mirror there is no difference in the image picture would be as sharp as you are shooting in dslr or in mirror right but it offers many things added like focusing points are huge like over 400 focusing points are there in most of the cameras right so it makes life easy when you are shooting bird photography you are shooting something moving very fast so the focus tracking points are there already on auto focus continuous so that is the technology yeah right right uh, good thing like all giants all brands are fighting each other yes is good for photographers yes we are getting best technologies and they are experimenting innovating with the photographers with the engineers and and end result we are getting the best equipments i think that answers the why mirrorless thing uh, since there is some question about why mirrorless so uh, i going to uh, like uh, collaborate three questions one is why mirrorless second is the best lenses of sony uh, which you can use uh, for uh, your regular photography wide angle as well as for the street and the third is your point on action cameras mirror why mirrorless one thing which is great about mirrorless cameras are they have a electronic view finder technology evf so when you are on electronic view finder you see the image before it has clicked yes you see the white balance you see the depth of field before even the shutter is pressed yes so it means what i see and what i visualize in my eyes or mind i see it live happening on a view finder and i shoot and i don't need to review it right so it means you can think more on the composition waste less time in setting up things yes right so of course mobile is also electronic viewfinder style cameras they are direct finders so 
वॉट एवर अप एंड डाउन इज है यू कैन सी इट लाइव है exposure wise like low light or maybe light is very conflicting mixed light situation we see live what is happening so we we just go to kelvin set the color temperature you are seeing it in your view finder what is happening so that is the best part yes number one question is solved the second is like action cams are very good when you need to do something adventurous biking cycling mountain ring but it the glamour is only restricted to super wide style images where you see everything is glamorous and you know globe style and you know tilted and stuff so they look very good but when it comes to photography with that segment style people have some camera like sony rx0 is one which is rx0 second is also there so yes. beautiful small camera with a 24 mm equivalent lens Yes. So twenty four will give you a decent wide angle shot, but not that extra wide angle shot. The color quality is very good because of the one inch sensor. So it's a shock proof and wash proof camera. You can put it anywhere. It takes video do, and still. Do you works. use any action action camera? Do you also use any? No, no. Normally, I have three bodies which I normally use. And two bodies are must. Third is always welcome when I'm shooting two zooms, one prime. So I need three bodies. so i don't have time to play with action cam and mobile photography so even okay. mobile photography i do very limited only for some some places i just want to test my mobile or some selfie shots i do it with my mobile otherwise i don't have time to waste on smaller devices to be honest right right uh in in the photography section only like uh, people are getting more into photography now these days because of uh, all thanks to instagram people are more motivated more inspired uh, somehow they are wrongly influenced also that uh, uh, photography is easy earning and uh, they they end up uh, uh, like losing interest in photography because they are not getting getting the assignment the way other people are getting uh, like the influencers on photo uh, instagram who have worked and they have some numbers so uh, how do people earn through photography one thing and the second thing is uh, does that make sense to actually compare yourself to the influencers on the instagram no it's a very very vital question like how to earn money out of photography and then one thing one need to remember all the queries which we have been addressing about earning is like very very newcomers so my point is again you have to do something to justify your brand or to justify your money yes. assignment charges nobody will pay you like 50000 a day if you are just a newcomer so one yes. very important thing is the portfolio need to be very very outstanding your portfolio yes it's maybe on instagram maybe you are doing a physical portfolio going to some editors and creative heads and showing your prints they have to be very very vibrant and presentable then of course you can demand work without knowing the trades of the trade you think that you can earn money is wrong for anything you need to have experience and lot of grilling and lot of creativity then of course you can earn money out of any profession same goes yes. with photography and influencers if you see lot of influencers are working just for barter systems i got lot of queries from hotels and stuff and small products that you become our ambassador and you know we will give you these nights in the hotel and you can go in luxury and that suites and all that stuff but for person like me who is doing photography for over 27 years now will not go just for the sake of living in a five star hotels right so for me i will never gauge myself with newcomers or influencers where it's more like a barter system rather than getting money if somebody want to hire me i need to present my invoice and i need to do a fee structure assignment rather than a barter system so that is my call okay. call on this but of course if you are a newcomer you need to establish in the market of course you need to do some test shoots that is okay that is no harm Okay okay <clears throat> okay sir
uh, we have actually crossed another 30 minutes and wow, <laughs> wow. that is great it is it is so i mean a question can never end uh, there are so many queries people have and uh, uh, i i don't want to hold you up further on this it's already no but 30. i think last query we can take some good last query from it yes if you yes you can see some <laughs> <laughs> there is there is one question which is uh, says that uh, uh, what is important in photography composition or story does it differ from street photography what is the key element for capturing photos which can speak its own story to viewers both and are very like, important story of course story and and you know both are related to each other i will say very short like uh, making story in one picture is very very tough making pictures like a portfolio set of 10 pictures narrating a story is a easy call which we call a feature or a photo feature or a photo essay yeah. because you have 10 pictures to explain but one pictures showing the story is the most important so it's known as single image a lot of competitions are there where single image competition is different portfolio section is different right so then narrate a story of course aesthetics are very important how you compose how you see the light is important of course photography is what what is photography is like graphing with light is like sketching with light so if you don't see light just keep on taking pictures you're not a photographer so i will see just follow the light see the light then compose it right and story will automatically comes out okay perfect uh, another question, this is coming again and again, visuals, Amrit is not happy, <laughs> happy with the only answer which we have given. Uh, he is asking again that, uh, please tell any specific reason why street photography is influenced by human subject only, any suggestion to shoot any other subject other than human why? in street photography. No, no, why not? Why only humans? You can just uh, shoot the existence of human in street picture. Like a lot of time I go, just I visualize some doors, some windows, or maybe some some walls which have some God idols and something written over the walls that, that shows without humans, but the presence is there, the God is there, or, or the, the faith is there. So those are also minimalistic street pictures. You can do that. Who, yes, who said, I, like, I you know, you need to have... Yeah, of course. Seen, you can see my feed. I have a lot of stuff like what you are saying because sometimes I feel there is people is not required in the picture. Just the small attention to detail what is required. So we, we, we say it A to D. Attention to detail. So they are right. more cross-section mm -hmm. shots. And I, I also consider that it's up to individual uh, perception what he wants. If they want human element in every single thing, it's up to them. They They, they are happy to take it. If you think that, no, I can take a picture of uh, anything which, which makes my frame perfect, then you take it. I, I don't think so. There is a differentiation there. <laughs> of course, small thing like, you know, you, the, the, maybe the chapels are there and, and some stairs and doors. It's just the yes, existence yes. of somebody just who left or some, he's inside the door. He's not came out. So you are just taking that perspective. It's all on perspective. It's how you narrate it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, before we end, sir. Can we have one more song, please? All right, song. <laughs> so it, it should look like a photographer session, not like a uh, maybe a, a jamming session. But okay, okay. Uh, so <laughs> no, sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll end up. Uh, we will, yeah, we will just, end just up one more thing. Uh, thing. I, I have these sessions going on for from since November. I have been taking artists since November live sessions, and uh, I used to do do it on Sunday specifically. But during this lockdown, I thought of doing it on daily basis, having the artist. And, and it really came up so well. I have already invited singers. I have invited yoga artists. I have invited uh, 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 Shweta Ma'am is also there, who is uh, other, other than photographer. She's a, a painter. She draws things. Yeah, so, I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so I, I, I'm taking this session just beyond the photography. So since you sing so well, it's definitely worth to have some uh, more songs from you and uh, talk about those things also. <laughs> so how much time we have now? We have uh, a couple of minutes, another couple of minutes, okay. we can go ahead. Okay, then when I was in 10th standard and completed my exams, so two months we were nothing to do because no mobile, no laptops, right? So I started learning guitar, acoustic guitar. And you know that thing cultivated within yourself. 
so that was 1990 okay right so that was the first time i picked up the guitar and got some basic lessons from a nearby guru teacher and and then picked up later and keep practicing keep evolving bought new guitars so this is right now i'm using a fender uh, guitar which is of okay. course one of the one of the finest so and okay. this song will be dedicated to all the ghazal listeners and especially to my favorite ghazal artist jagjit singh okay right <clears throat> so jante hain aap gana hosh walon ko khabar kya bekuli kya hosh walon ko khabar kya bekudi kya cheez hai hosh walon ko khabar kya bekudi kya cheez hai ishq ki je फिर समझिए इश्क कीजिए फिर समझिए जिंदगी का चीज है ला 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 से नजरे क्या मिली रोशन आज जाना प्यार की क्या इश्क कीजे फिर समझिए इश्क कीजे फिर समझिए जिंदगी क्या perfect perfect sir <laughs> okay <laughs> this 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 felt like a, a you know the tv show where uh, somebody is coming talking and then why, there is why, why, why not for jo ish karna hai wo to bhai photography se kariye na main to bol raha hu ish kariye photography se <laughs> right right <laughs> so <clears throat> thank you so much sir uh, I, i think i going to conclude this session now before people goes out ki are 11 baj gaye aap sona hai neend aa rahi hai jo all those of things course, i have got and they would be feeling hungry also but then the tip is eat less work more <laughs> exactly uh, thank you so much for this time sir i uh, i really can't thank you enough for all the details which you have shared to uh, us to me and uh, i'm i'm really gonna look forward to you once again for any uh, session the next time like uh, which course, i continue to do and once i'm in delhi i'll look forward to meet you also once again in detail because uh, right. ye to chal jayega right. we'll have some more training uh, session yes and i gonna learn you so much mai mai khud drone udata hu sir mera drone mai matlab uh, mai shoots to karta hu drone shots bhi leta hu to mai uske bare mein bhi aapse baat karunga and jab koi position karega to why not why so all the uh so thank you once again thank you audience yes, yes. for having this yes. session uh, i going to put this live on my story so if you have missed the previous one if you have missed some of the important questions you can always check them out i'll try to put this on youtube also so that you can check this thing on yeah please uh, record YouTube. both these sessions it would be beneficial for everyone yeah perfect okay. thank you so much once again sir take care Shubha. bye bye uh, stay safe uh, this is a really tough time i hope we going to come out of this and safe uh, please stay safe stay at home and then you will uh, india will fight corona very well i i'm sure go corona <laughs> sir mera ek photo selfie <laughs> lena perfect <laughs> okay sir bye. thank you bye sir